a lot of our work is really focused on informing policy discussions around responsible use of technology and supportive policy that can really foster innovation. And we came to this report with an understanding that all too often, the voices of many who stand to be the most impacted by policy are not included in conversations. We also were coming to this research with an understanding that we're at a really pivotal moment in Web3, which you know, for any of our listeners who are not familiar, I've used as a term to refer broadly to the ecosystem that has emerged around blockchain-based technology. So everyone building in the space, the people using the tools, those investing. We really came to this research with an understanding that we're at this pivotal inflection point for the technology, right? There's been a, quite a lot of volatility over the past few years, market uh, downturns, followed now by this seeming era of maturity. Major ETFs have been approved. We see legacy financial institutions moving into the space somewhat giving their stamp of approval to the sector. And yet, despite all of this seeming maturity, this is a space that still feels very opaque to many that are outside of it, including investors, including policymakers who are being charged with regulating the space. And even many users who may be deterred from adopting some of these new use cases that could be really impactful for them. But at the same time as all of this is going on, one of the rallying cries for Web3 has been that it is a democratizing force for digital spaces, that it will increase access to opportunity for all. And so at this sort of inflection point in maturity, it felt like a very important moment to examine the extent to which this promise has actually been realized in the space. 